Michael, you've been in the game for quite a long time. Do you still get a, a special feeling two days out from the start of a new season? Yeah, for sure. I think it's um, it's really exciting. Um, everybody, you know, that's why you, that's why you do it. That's why the players do it. That's why the staff do it. I think come the season, that's the real stuff, isn't it? We've had a good pre-season, I think, um, but it's not the same. Uh, the same thing as when we get out on that that first game at Burton and we get going into the new season. And pre-season, obviously, it's fitness, but also that chance to imprint what you want the players to be doing in games. Yeah, I think it's to get the the minutes into the players and get them as fit as they can be ready for the first game to get our style and the way we want to play into them but also to get the group connected and thinking as one as much as you can but again that's always evolving that's always growing um, I think this this team's got a lot to, to grow still which is great um, but I think we're in a good place into, into game one but you'll only really know when you get into it and in the first five ten minutes of the game we'll and it settles where we're at really so looking forward to it but we know it's going to be a really tough challenge because we know the changes Burns have had with the manager and the amount of players have signed so it's going to be a very different team that we face than we did last season and that's the beauty of, of football you know a lot of these teams are going to be different so new challenges ahead. And um, you've got obviously quite a few younger players and we always hear this talk about high ceilings. Does, is that part of the game that excites you to think where, you know, where your keeper could go, where one of your midfielders could go in terms of their development within whatever the team does? Yeah, I think so. I think it's seeing their improvement every day and if they work hard on the training pitch and they quickly get into the way that we want to play, you can see them getting better at things all the time. Um, but again, it's, it's easy to get better at things in pre-season. It's easy to do it against each other or easier to do against each other in training. The, the proofs in the putting on a Saturday when a team's trying to stop everything you're doing and trying to cause you damage with your weaknesses. Um, so, and conversely for us, it's trying to you know, put our imprint on the game. And, and that's what we're going to try and do on Saturday. And there's quite a lot of money been spent in League One this time around, probably most of it by Birmingham, but quite a lot <laughs> of, uh, of money, which is going to obviously raise the, the pressure on them as football clubs, but it's also going to raise the bar, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think it's always, you know, a challenge because you know that there's lots of money being thrown around in League One this year and all, lots of teams are doing that. Um, but that doesn't mean that you necessarily get the best for your, your pound, if you like. So I think the fact that we have gone quite early with the, the business we've done in the transfer window helps us in that. But again, I always say at the end of the day, it's, you know, 11 v 11 on the, the green rectangular stuff, a ball and two goals. Until that changes, every team's got every chance of winning. Um, I think that's one thing you'll see this season with League One is it's going to be really competitive from top to bottom. The one thing you will see is lots of different styles compared to normal, I think. So you'll see lots of different ways of playing, which brings a tactical challenge for the lads and for the staff. Um, but again, that's what's quite exciting about it. And that's why we want to get into it as soon as we can. And when you prepare for a team like Burton, I suppose the same for any team at the start of the season, you can look at pre-season, but you and I both know if somebody looked at your team in pre-season, you can't draw too many conclusions, and I guess the same is with Burton as well. Yeah, we know they, you know they can draw some principles about what they're trying to do, but you don't know the team, you don't know um, who they favour, they might play a certain way, you don't know if they're going to play that way against us as they did against a couple of pre-season games that we've obviously looked at. Um, so the reality is you, you, you think you'll have a bit of an idea, we think they'll, they'll try and dominate the ball and we think they'll try and, you know, the way they play with three box three because we know where the old managers come from, how he likes to play. So, but again, you don't really know until you get into the first five minutes of the game, you can work out shapes and systems and styles, um, but we have a little bit of an idea. And their manager, similar sort of path to you. I know he was um, at Wimbledon before he went to Chelsea, but he's obviously come from that sort of academy, that young, you know, working with younger players background, similar to yourself. Yeah, we, we know and you can see probably that Burton are trying to, with the investment they've had this, this summer, um, I think they've signed 20 players, a, a lot of them young. You can see straight away that they're trying to, um, like you say, invest, or like I said, invest in young talent to try and get them through and try and develop them as well. So maybe something similar, not the same, but something similar they're probably trying to do as we do here. Um, and that's why I've probably signed so many players, but ultimately it's about um, who's being the best we can on the day and not worrying too much about their team, their, their manager. It's more about just trying to win this game and, and fight for three points.
A couple of final questions, just on, on officials. I know that we've had a briefing sort of in the media. We've managed to do something. I know you've had something with the with the players because the rules do evolve, particularly around handball. I think there's been some changes there, and and, and that's just an important part of the process in the build up, isn't it? Yeah, always we have um, we have a debrief, if you like, or a briefing, should I say, not a debrief, a briefing from um, the match officials come into the building, speak to the players, and we have it as a managers meeting as well. So we've had all the new laws of the game or the adaptions to laws of the game um, handball is a bit slight slight tweaks nothing major but there's a flight slight differences on what will happen with the handball situation which everyone needs to be aware of a couple of other changes if you like but but ultimately the game will look, look very similar finally the fans are a huge part of that run towards the end of last season looking forward to another away day with a big following yeah, I don't know how many we've got sold, but I know it's quite a few. Um, and again, I thought the the away day last year was brilliant because it was probably was it the start of our run away at Burn. We, we you know we went down to ten men and we saw the game out one 0 brilliantly. Um, I think the pitch will look very different <laughs> to what it looks at the minute, so that'd be nice. Um, but yeah, the fans were brilliant last time, and hopefully the fans will you know come and support the lads, and the lads can give back to the fans and, and, and maximum effort to try and to try and get three points. And you know, I know that's what the fans want. They want to see us working hard and doing what we can. But I always say you don't really know where you are to the end of January. <laughs> but you know, first game you don't lose anything in the first game of the season. But we want to start the season well. We want to get off to a win and and try and get those three points away from home.